Welcome to this video playing Sauerkraut. This is Montenegro, right? He's not playing for Montenegro usually. This is Slavko Cicak. Usually uh, he's he's a Swedish player. He, he doesn't have Swedish. Uh, he doesn't come from Sweden originally, but he's playing for Sweden for ages. So this flag is a bit irritating. Maybe he's playing a tournament in Montenegro. Okay, so we have the h3 King Zinian. He's played with knight to d7. Um, now you can play that. I wonder. Maybe he's um, intending to go for a Banco gambit. c5, d5, b5. But um, maybe maybe this is an idea. P protecting e4. This is a move that fits in e5 setups, e5, d5, but also fits in with c5. I'm not so sure about c6, b5, which is also an idea. Maybe he's uh, playing that now. Nope. Yeah, I thought in the Benoni um, 92 is a pretty decent uh, idea. No, okay, uh, it's 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 a playable position for Black. Of course, I'm not saying uh, Black is uh, in terrible shape, but 92 looks like a viable approach now. Yeah, you can play B5, but it's just one of those. Uh -huh. This is interesting. Okay, let's um, set up the G4 wedge as long as I am able to. Now H5. This is one of the one of the interesting ways to play it. You can now try take and play Knight H7. But I have Knight F3. Knight H7 with the idea to play Bishop F6 to G5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is why I'm going here. And now knight knight g5. Yeah, this looks um, like a very good position for white. I've got the h file open already. And um, something like queen d2 and uh, bishop h6 later can can be very very dangerous yeah i think he misjudged this no. especially knight df6 is really um a rather rather pointless move so f3 just protect g4 and then queen d2 maybe i can i could, I could have um, managed without the move but i think i can afford it Yeah, bishop h6. He's going bishop f6. But I can I can just uh, retreat here and prepare doubling on the h file. He still wants to play bishop f6 hmm, and bishop g5. Uh, the question is: Should I play g5? Yeah, it, it, it keeps it keeps um, it keeps an advantage. With castles and doubling on the H farm. Yeah, of course, B5 I need to ignore. I don't take any pawns here or something. The H file is the, the big thing here.
so now I I need I need the queen as well how to get this quickly queen to h4 is not a winning black queen e1 h4 maybe rook h2 was stupid I should have played rook h4 rook h4 queen h2 this uh, would be would be very nice hmm. stupid okay let's spend a move on on prophylaxis keep a2 covered I don't mind him to take. Just here, yeah, maybe rook h4, rook uh, queen, uh, queen h2 still. I, I just lost time with all that. Could have had this uh, in a better version. I hope it's still winning. So bishop g5, hmm, is it winning? I don't know. If he takes on g5 and takes on c3, Rook h8 check. Yeah, it is a mate. He cannot cannot take it. Queen g5, queen c3, rook h8 leads to check. mate. Yeah. This is another possibility, of course. Check. So I hope this keeps things under control. Wow, this was probably completely unnecessary to get into this here. Yeah, I wonder what 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 am I playing if he just goes bishop g7 or something? Maybe bishop h6 still. Yeah, let's not spend so much time. This was my idea anyway, keeping it closed. And um, I still have an attack. I mean, it's uh, it's probably still very good for white. Maybe here I don't see a win. I don't see a win. Cannot calculate a win here. If he goes queen c5, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can I can check here, but it's I'm not sure that I'm winning. Check. Threatening rook h7 now. Oh yeah, this is Check. winning now. Black resigns. Wow, what a game. Pooh. Yeah, I really uh, allowed far too much play here. This this here, I mean, black setup is, is, is 
quite questionable strategically anyway but this is this is just uh, just asking for it here white white is, is basically winning strategically but I, I just allowed far too much far too much play here Yeah, g5 is probably okay. I want to prevent bishop f6 g5. So up to this point, I'm pretty pretty satisfied. And this is probably uh, already a bit bit uh, a bit imprecise. Maybe maybe this one to be quicker. If it if it goes similar to the game, just just for argument's sake. Then um, I have this idea, and this is just quicker than the game. Yeah, the comp is already on plus two here. This is um, this is terrible. Yeah, well, in the game, I had this rook h two. Uh, yeah, the computer still says white is winning, but. Um, it was it was simply was not uh, not precise check check yeah the comp wants to play this as well this is also the best move okay yeah this is computer actually likes my play i'm i'm surprised and now it wants to play f4 with plus nine. <laughs> nine is a lot. I hope this is also winning. Yeah, it is. Check. And now rook h7 is actually leading to a mate. Yeah, I couldn't calculate that. And uh, this is also mate. <laughs> okay, so I played better than I than I actually um, believed in the game. I really thought he would have, uh, have something, but the computer actually believes that white is uh, basically winning all along. Still rook h4 first instead of rook h2 to here. This would have been would have been the better choice, punishing um, him on the h file. The problem with this kind of setup is that black is rather passive here. He cannot really break with f5, and b5 is also hard to do. And um, h5 is um, is a typical way to play to get something to g5 bishop f6 to g5 it simply didn't work out in the game I, I, I could always prevent that so this is why this isn't a good idea it's um, a good general concept but it's not working in this concrete position yeah thanks for watching